Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. Sorry I haven't been posting as much as usual. Been very busy freelancing, but uh, I found out a cool little technique on a project recently I want to share with you. And it's based on this image where you can see this player. And in the video, this guy is actually moving. He's rotoscoped out and he's uh, running across the field. And as he's running, uh, these pixels, these shards are kind of bleeding off of him. They're, they're shedding off as he's running. It's a really cool technique. I think this was probably done in After Effects uh, with Particular or something, but I'm going to show you a quick way to do it in Cinema 4D. Um, so the first thing I did was I rotoscoped out a vehicle and I went ahead and put it in the color channel and then also in the alpha channel so that it's uh, cut out here. And then I put it on a polygon object. Now if we put it on a plane, the problem with that is that all of these uh, polygons are squares, right? We do not want that because we want the shards like this image to be sort of triangular. So if we put it on a polygon, which is um, right here, a polygon object, um, if we put it on a polygon, it comes in the same way that a plane does, but we have this option to click triangulate. And if we click that, you can see that it changes the polygons into uh, triangles, which is perfect. Uh, because what we're going to be using is the poly effects tool. So let's go ahead and add the poly effects tool and let's put that inside the polygon. So what we're going to do is actually use fall off. So let's go to the fall off tab and let's change that to box. And let's pretend that the, uh, the shards of uh, particles want to be coming off the back of this car. So we'll put the box over here. Now, what we need to do is change the parameters for this guy. So go to the transform tab and you can see that we're moving the particles based on that fall off. So this is going to be where the particles go. We can probably add a little bit of rotation too. Now, first off, uh, it looks way too uniform. So what we're going to do is add a MoGraph effector, random effector, and we're going to go ahead and change some of the parameters. Let's go ahead and add rotation, add some randomness. That's going to help out a lot. So there we go. And then what we can do, this is kind of just the setup. The cool thing about setting up this way is that it's non-destructive. So we can just go back to the polygon and add segments and that's going to change the size of the particles, right? So we're already getting somewhere. Um, let's go ahead and play around with our box a little bit. We can move it around a little bit. We can go ahead and go to our fall off and change the fall off to 100% so that it's a little bit more gradual. So already you kind of see the basic uh, deal right here. We'll probably want to kick up our random a little bit, add a bunch of random rotation, and maybe even a little bit of positioning. That'll help out a lot. All right, so the cool thing is now what we can do is we can duplicate this entire thing and go into the second one and add a bunch more geometry. All right, so now we have some smaller pieces in there too. One thing that we can also do is let's go ahead and uh, click both of our poly effects and make a keyframe on the transform position. We'll go back to the beginning and then let's just modify the position on each of these so that the uh, particles go back sort of towards their beginning spot. Let's go ahead and make a keyframe. Go ahead and do the same with the smaller ones. And make keyframes. So now if we hit play, you can see that we're having these particles sort of slowly uh, drifting off of this vehicle. And you can imagine if this vehicle is rotoed out and moving and having these particles slowly sort of shedding off of the back of it, um, that's going to look pretty cool. So again, um, this might have been done in particular, but this is a really good way to jump in and uh, figure out poly effects. There's lots of stuff you could do with this. Um, it might be cool having these little particles kind of drifting off of some text maybe. Definitely one of my favorite effects. So go ahead and play around and enjoy that one. Thanks guys for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time.